Hello friends, this video on Forests Our Lifeline Part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we got to know how organisms live inside a forest, why so many animals and plants live inside a forest because they get all they need for their survival within the forest. But now the question is when so many different organisms are living inside the forest, these organisms are not immortal, so they are going to die one or the other day, whether you talk about the animals or insects or even the plants. So what will happen when these organisms die? Because forest is like a limited area. Now, when if organisms start dying and the dead bodies keep accumulating there, what's going to happen? It will create a lot of pollution, it will create a lot of foul smell. So the, the fo forest will actually become a dustbin for dead bodies over a period of time. But does that really happen? That really doesn't happen. Do you know why? Because in forests, we again have another set of organisms which take care of the dead bodies of plants and animals. So that's beautiful, right? That in forest, forest is so self-sufficient and it is so dynamic that it has everything within it. So it has all the arrangements to manage everything within it. So let us now talk about these organisms which take care of the dead plants and animals. So this is where we will talk about decomposers. So what are decomposers? These are those organisms which feed on dead bodies of plants and animals. Now I told you right that inside a forest we have two categories of organisms based on their based on how they obtain their food. First is autotrophs which can prepare their own food like green plants. The second is heterotrophs. Now in heterotrophs all other animals fall. So these organisms which feed on dead plants and animals they are also dependent on other organisms basically. So these organisms also fall under the category of heterotrophs. So they are also termed as saprotrophs. Sapro, the word sapro means dead and decaying. So since they uh, eat decaying matter, so they are called saprotrophs. However, saprotrophs will also fall in the category of heterotrophs because they are also dependent on other animals. Now examples of decomposers are, most common examples are bacteria and fungi. So bacteria, fungi, these are all microorganisms. Now some fungi are like quite big in size and they are visible to naked eye, for example mushrooms and that is what I have shown in the picture so that you can relate to it. But a lot of uh, organisms like bacteria, they are very microscopic. You do not get to see them with your naked eye. But a lot of bacteria live in the soil. And due to the presence of these bacteria, they start feeding. So, so whenever a plant or an animal dies, so the bacteria start feeding on their dead bodies, they decompose it and they finally return them back to the soil. So we will see how exactly they carry out this process of decomposition. But now at least you know that these are the organisms which help us to keep the forest clean. So where do these decomposers live? Now these decomposers, mostly the bacteria and the fungi, all these, they live in the soil and that is why the process of decomposition take place in the soil. Now whenever an organism dies, what happens? It, it just remains on the ground. Now gradually maybe that dead organism will be eaten up by some other animal and then the remaining will just remain there on the ground and then the bacteria or the decomposers which are present in the soil they will start doing their job and that's how the process of decomposition will take place in the soil and the dead body will get cleaned from there. So let's see how that happens. So decomposition is a process in which complex organic matter are broken down into simpler forms. Now we all know that all living organisms, what is our body made up of? So if you think of our own example, human beings, our body is made up of proteins, carbohydrates, amino acids. So these, those are the things which are present in our body. So we, it is all organic. We are organic is anything which contains carbon. So basically all living organisms, they have their body contains a lot of organic matter. So these decomposers, they break down the organic matter which are complex into simpler inorganic forms and, that, and then return them back to the soil. And that's how they improve the fertility of the soil. So these simpler forms into which they get converted, these simpler forms are certain things which improve the quality of the soil. So these organisms that since they perform this function of decomposition that is why they are called decomposers so composing means what compose means to create something decomposing means to break down something so de 
compose that means to break down to degrade something so it degrades the complex organic matter to simple inorganic forms and return them to the soil so this entire process of decomposition starts with raw material what is the raw material for decomposition it is the detritus that is the dead remains now this detritus could be dead plant remains when a plant dies like you would have seen that uh, when leaves from the plant fall off to the ground what happens to that leaf that leaf dries up and it dies it gets decomposed after that dead animal remains when an insect or a bird or an animal dies so that dead body of animal also decays over a period of time it could also be the feces matter that is the excreta from different animals so all these substances they are highly organic in nature and therefore they need decomposition now the process of in the process of decomposition what happens is all these organism it's like um, my bacteria or fungi they convert this organic matter which is complex organic matter into inorganic forms which forms the humus that is the top layer of the soil gets uh, you know enriched with good nutrients so that's how it improves the soil fertility but how fast decomposition will happen whether the decomposition will take place very fast or it will be very slow that depends on a lot of factors so there are several factors like soil quality what is the type of soil the texture of soil how much microorganisms are present in the soil because finally microorganisms are the decomposers if very few bacteria are present in the soil then obviously the rate of decomposition will be slow it also depends on the moisture content how much water is present in the soil because for microorganisms also they need water for their survival and the microorganisms they also need the supply of air so aeration has to be there oxygen has to be there suitable temperature has to be there for uh, the growth and proliferation of the microorganisms high aeration as i said enough amount of air should be there because this process of decomposition happens in presence of oxygen the ph of the soil the nature of the soil decides a lot of things it also depends on the composition of the organic matter that is the organic matter which needs to be broken down so if it is very much complex again it is going to take more time if it is less complex it is going to take less time so a lot of things are there which together decide how much you know, how fast or how slow would be the decomposition rate it also depends on the climate uh, if if there is a lot of rain if too much of water is present if the water clogging can also you know uh, sometimes fasten up the process of decomposition so uh, because water decides a lot of things when if it is a rainy season then the moisture content of the soil would be good if it is a very dry summer season then the moisture content would be low so the temperature moisture content ph of the soil is also determined by the climatic condition so all these factors will decide the rate of decomposition now why is decomposition so important why are we talking about decomposition why do we want that decomposition has to take place first of all to clean the forest obviously otherwise the forest will become you know like dust bins of dead bodies so obviously it is ne needed to clean the forest secondly the best thing about decomposition is that the decomposers they are actually converting the dead plant and animal remains which are organic matter into inorganic matter in the form of humus what is humus humus is a dark colored mostly brown or black substance which is very rich in nutrients now what kind of nutrients are present in humus those which are needed for plant growth and development plants need a lot of nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus sulfur for their growth and humus is rich in all these nutrients now when the soil becomes enriched with humus so basically what happens the fertility or uh, the crop supporting capacity of the soil improves so this humus is present in the top layers of soil so you see it, it's like two advantages with one thing with one uh, object that is with the process of decomposition there are two benefits that you get one is the forest is cleared of the dead bodies the second is the dead bodies are getting converted into something which is benefit for the growth of plant so the dead bodies are getting converted into humus humus is improving the soil fertility and when the soil fertility improves it promotes growth of plants and forest is all about plants so it promotes plant growth so more and more plants can grow so that is why you would have seen that uh, in, in case you have observed if there is some decaying matter present somewhere 
and if you leave it like that for quite some time you'll see and if, if you throw some seeds there a new plant will start coming up that's because the plant is getting all the nutrients that it needs from there nutrients are released back to the soil so all the nutrients because uh, uh, the body of any organism whether it is a plant or animal it is rich in organic matter it is rich in nutrients so the nutrients are not getting wasted when the organism dies it is going back to the soil so that is one good thing that everything is getting reused everything is getting utilized instead of being wasted thank you Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.